Hey everyone, welcome to episode number 6, where we solve problem number 6 of the introductory series of CSES. And this problem is called number spiral. So, let's look at the problem. A number spiral is an infinite grid whose upper left square is the number 1. Here are the first 5 layers of the spiral. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. And we have to try and find the number in row Y and column X. So first is the T, and we have the number of tests, which is 10 to the 5th. And then we have the test, so x and y, but reversed. So right away, looking at this, seeing that we're going to have to do at least 10 to the 9th times 10 to the 5th, we know that we are going to have to do an O of 1 solution, which means that we're going to have to create a formula to solve each test. So let's try and find a formula up here. Um, well, if we notice right away that uh, since the column and row are actually one base because one one gives the number one which is right here uh, we can see that on every odd numbered x we have a square number and every even numbered y we have a square number and this actually has to do with the fact that when you add consecutive odd numbers starting with one through the nth consecutive odd number the sum is actually n squared and you can you can look up a math proof of that on your own but what we can do is we can take that and create a formula off of it. Because what we can do is we can make sure, or we can find what, which one is bigger, x or y. And then we can find the difference or the odd or evenness of the greater number of the two. And then run a formula based on which of x and y is bigger and if the bigger one is odd or even. Because on each one, we can add the number of amounts. So like say if we're looking up uh, 2, 3, what we do is we take uh, 3, which is the bigger one. And since it's odd, we can subtract 1 and get to the square number, which is 4, or 2 squared, 3 minus 1 squared. And then we can add the number of rows. So a pretty simple formula. So let's get right into it. So... First off, we have L, L, N, or T for the number of tests, and uh, we should probably import X and Y right now as well. So let's just go for the number of T times, and um, that shouldn't make a difference, but I just don't like it. So we take in uh, Y and then X, and then um, if x is greater than y, we need to find the bigger one, and then if, and then we can do an if x is odd, or even, and then let's just see what happens if x is even. Actually, x is odd might be easier. So if x is odd, then what we do is we just see out um, x times x, we take the square number, and then on odd rows, it decreases by the number of rows minus 1, so, or the w amount of y minus 1. So on odd rows, you can see it goes down by 1 each time per row. So we just add, so we subtract y and add. And then, if it's even, all we have to do is take, or we subtract 1 from x, because we need to find the square number that was before it, because see, these numbers are dependent upon this square number right up there. So we do x times x, and then on this time, we can just add y. So 1, 2, 3, 4 in that case. And then down here, if y is greater than x, or if they're on the diagonal, if y mod 2 equals 0, because that's where the square numbers are on the even ones, then we can just do c out y times y. And then the difference is that on the x, they also subtract. So x and then uh, we subtract the value of x minus 1. And then otherwise, we have to do basically the opposite of the first one, or the second value on x. So y times y plus x. And then at the end of the day, we output a new line and finish out. So let's test this. Uh, we can press play, uh, grab the input, and then once we grab the input, we can see 
that nothing happened. So let's see where we might have gone wrong. Let's see if we go through T. Uh, T might not have been initialized. So that's the problem. And then once we rerun it and then grab the input and then run it again, we can see uh, that we get our answers of 8, 2, and 15. Actually, the 2 is wrong. Let's figure out what went wrong with the 2. So the 2 went wrong at 1, 1. So x is not greater than y, and y of 2 equals 0. So let's see. At 1, 1, so what we have is y. 1 times 1 plus 1. So what we actually need to do is go down 1y because if x if y is odd then we need to look at the square number before and I forgot to do that when I was transferring from the x. So if we play it, copy the input, paste it in, we get our values 8, 1, and 15. And since we use ll and sin and c out for each one, we can hopefully get a first try submission for main.cpp and then you just put it in testing and it is accepted so that's going to be it for this episode of the CSES introductory problems if you liked the if you want me to make more videos just like comment subscribe uh, if you have a better solution comment down below and I might make a video on it see you all later